to assemble your FlexL Streamer fluid flow system with your OssiFlow flow controller, you will need the following. Your streamer device and hex key, both of which are in the clear plastic suitcase labeled streamer, your MasterFlex peristaltic pump with power cable, and the RS232 serial to USB connector cable, two pulse dampeners, the 500 milliliter culture medium collection reservoir, your OssiFlow flow controller with the supplied power cable and USB cable, and all the tubing that came with your streamer and OssiFlow devices. Before setting up your system, please ensure that the pump head of the MasterFlex peristaltic pump is attached to the pump body. Also, prior to connecting the devices to your computer that will be used with the streamer and OssiFlow, please install the FlexL StreamSoft software and the RS232 to USB driver using the respective included disk. Using the provided RS232 serial to USB connector cable, connect the male end of the RS232 serial cable to the RS232 end port on the back of the MasterFlex pump. Connect the USB end to your computer. Using the provided power cable, connect the female end to the outlet on the rear of the MasterFlex pump. The opposite end of the cable connects to the power outlet. Use the flip switch on the rear of the MasterFlex pump to turn the pump on. The digital display on the front of the pump will turn on. Next. Connect the power cable that was packaged with the OssiFlow to the outlet on the rear of the OssiFlow device. The opposite end of the cable connects to the power outlet. Use the flip switch on the rear of the OssiFlow to turn the device on. The red light on the front of the device will illuminate when powered on. Now, connect the USB cable included with the OssiFlow to the rear of the OssiFlow. The opposite end will connect to your computer. Next, we'll connect the tubing. Ensure that the figure eight tubing that comes with your OssiFlow is inserted into the pinch clamps as shown here. First, connect the medium collection reservoir to the first pulse dampener with the three foot long piece of beige farm med tubing. On the medium reservoir, the quick disconnect connected to the long tubing extending to the bottom of the bottle should be used. Do not connect this tube to the quick disconnect leading to the short tubing in the bottle. Move the clamp mounted on the far med tubing to the end closest to the pulse dampener. Place the middle of this tubing segment into the pump head. Rotate the lever to the left to open the pump head for tubing placement, and then rotate the lever to the right to secure the tubing into the pump head. When not doing an experiment, the pump head lever should be rotated to the left to eliminate pressure on the tubing. Connect the first pulse dampener to the second pulse dampener with a three inch long segment of clear silicone tubing. Connect the second pulse dampener to the quick disconnect located on the bottom left corner of the OssiFlow controller with one of the two foot long pieces of clear silicone tubing. Connect the quick disconnect located on the bottom right corner of the OssiFlow to the port on the top of the streamer with one of the two foot long pieces of clear silicone tubing. Connect the port on the bottom of the streamer to the quick disconnect located in the top right corner of the OssiFlow with one of the two foot long pieces of clear silicone tubing. Finally, connect the quick disconnect on the top left corner of the OssiFlow to the quick disconnect on the medium bottle that is connected to the short tubing in the bottle using the other two foot long piece of silicone tubing. Your streamer system with OssiFlow should flow as diagrammed here. To place your culture slits into the streamer device, use the hex key to loosen and remove a screw in the lid of the streamer. Repeat for the three remaining screws. All six slots must be filled to ensure proper flow rate readings. If you do not wish to use all six culture slips with cells, use blank culture slips for the remaining slots. The black rim side, the side with the cell monolayer, should face the flow area. Tighten the lid of the streamer using the hex key to tighten the four screws.
before the first use, run deionized water through the entire system to make sure there are no leaks. Prior to use with cells, please flush the entire system first with PBS and second with tissue culture media. Please see the streamer user manual for proper techniques on handling the slide sterilely and ensuring the system is air bubble free. The entire streamer system should then be placed onto the silver tray and put into the incubator for use except for the OssiFlow and the computer. The OssiFlow should be placed on top or beside the incubator as near as possible to the port through which the tubing enters the incubator. This will minimize the amount of fluid exposed to atmospheric temperatures. Your streamer system with OssiFlow is now ready for use.